the district development model, taking delivery to where it matters most. OR Tambo has been chosen as one of those pilots because of its distress nature. And we are here today, having been here from yesterday on International Rural Women's Day. Today is the most important day, World Food Day, indicating that food is a fundamental human right. To us, it also speaks into the key component of our NDP, inequality, poverty and job creation. We are encouraging people to work here. In that particular process, jobs will also be created. Okay. Uh, we're also moving to the Minister uh, of Land Reform and Rural Development, Mamutago Didiza. You are saying people that need to optimize uh, the use of their own vegetable gardens and also make sure that they uh, use this as a source of income instead of uh, only securing food security. Uh, how are you looking to implement that? Well, as you've heard from the uh, two colleagues of mine, Deputy Minister and Amy Smith, we are not only just looking at large-scale uh, production, but we are also wanting people to utilize the little pieces of land that they have for household food production. As you know, that what they produce in their gardens can actually remain for storage, but also some of it could be sell, sold in the market locally, and they can be able to get money that they need to satisfy other needs. And therefore, it is very important, not only in the rural areas where we are, but also in the cities. We can develop urban gardens. There are now new technologies which can enable us to do that using the small tire of the car. You can plant inside, you know, one of those old tires that you usually throw away, but you can use it to actually plant your herbs, to plant your small veggies. You can also use, you know, boxes, you know, made of uh, sawdust to actually produce some of the food. So. What you are saying, food security at household level is very important as the first intervention for dealing with poverty, for dealing with nutrition.